Hey lovies, I am here at the Cape Fear Regional Theater for a sneak peek at the new chair upgrades that they're having as well as hints about what's coming up for the upcoming season so I cannot wait to share bits of tonight with you and then also recap my first impressions and feedback on the blog a little bit later. So I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Bye. That is the beloved Cape Fear Regional Theater. However, our most frequent customer complaints were that the chairs were uncomfortable and the quality of our sound was not excellent. So we began a mission to fix it all. And thanks to a $250,000 Jumpstart grant from a foundation that prefers to remain anonymous and a campaign that we have dubbed the Seat Squad, which most of you are members of, this theater is flying from coach to first class. <laughs> and when you join us here again in the fall, we will be pleased to welcome you into a space that looks like this. The width of the seats will go from 19 to 21, 22, 22, or 24 inches, and the depth of each row will gain at least six seats from the knees to the back of the chair. Um, now, as problem solvers, we didn't want to welcome you back into this incredible new space and still have you say, I can't. So um, I called a friend of mine, Rob, who is to sound what um, Roy Williams is to Carolina basketball. I have known him, yes, I know the Carolina people now in the house, I can hear you. Sorry for NC State fans, I actually don't follow basketball, so I'm, I'm neutral, I'm agnostic. But um, I have known him for over 21 years now. Um, he is an incredibly talented and accomplished designer. He has worked with the lights of Patti LaBelle, Bobby McFerrin, Felicia Rashad, Andre DeShields, Regina Taylor, who wrote the show Crowns that we did here a couple of years ago and she came to see it. He is within six degrees of Kevin Bacon, um, Jeremy Piven, Fran Drescher, Lilius White, Bill T. Jones, and Mary Wilson of the Supremes, to name a few. He is a tremendous friend, father, um, and husband. What makes Rob an amazing artist is his belief in the role that arts play in shaping communities. Um, and it's truly transformative power. His ability and delight in teaching and giving up his knowledge to his community and his understanding and the idea that regional theater deserves to have a Broadway quality sound experience. And it is my tremendous honor to introduce you to tonight's speaker, Rob Katlowitz. shows. Um, it's a little bit, uh, I, I was saying, it's, uh, it can be a little bit like you announce, okay, we're going to do Dream Girls. And so your audience goes out and they, they buy the Broadway cast album and they listen to it on their Sonos home speakers. And then they bring it in the car and they drive into your show and they're listening to it in their car and the, with the speakers perfectly designed for the driver's seat. And, uh, and then they come to the see, see the show and the costumes are great and the acting is great. And, something is just ineffably wrong. And they go home and they watch the review on TV, and again, they're like, why am I disappointed? And, and it's not about bad equipment, and it's not about bad design. It's just about sort of a perfect storm of not getting it right in the, in the space. And so I'm gonna take you through my process a little bit of what I do when I approach a project like this and what my goals were, which were to create for everyone an equal, an equally good and equal sound system. One of the things that I feel is that regional theater it can get like this sort of second, second tier mindset some people can get about it. They go, oh, you know, I'll go see the Broadway tour, I'll go. The work that is made here is the important work. Broadway is great, it's awesome, it's a lot of fun. And the Broadway tours, they belong in touring houses and they should sound good. But the theater that is made out of the community, that is for the community, and is about a mirror of the community, that's the theater that is the most important in my mind. Let me shift to sound. Um, because sound is what I do. You see these red chairs? We can, when I model the space, I can model it either, as I said, at individual frequencies for the whole space, or I can show you exactly what it will sound like at all frequencies, all pitches from low to high in one seat, right? So what I did was, as a part of my planning, I modeled the, I 
look at the old speakers and then all of the new speakers so that we could hear the difference. So what you're gonna hear is second row, 11th row, and then the mixed position. Um, why don't you take it for me? That's your second row. That's your 11th row, old sounds, totally different experiences, right? And you can see the shape of the sound here and how it's changed and the, the level, the volume, from top to bottom, these are scaled, right? And then go to the back of the house. That's what the mixer was hearing when they were trying to make your sound better. They were helpless, right? So now let's go to the new system. Front, middle, and back. Full range, full coverage, everyone gets the same experience, right? Thank you. And as it comes quieter, right, we just pulled it down, you can still hear the music, right? That's the thing about a good sound system is that because you're hearing it even frequent, you know, all the way across the frequencies, and if you look at this map, right, you're looking at a variation of less than two decibels all the way across the frequencies. So you're hearing all of the information. You're getting everything that you need in every scene. That's it, that's what we're gonna do. We've got the equipment, we've got to go ahead. I think we just need people to buy some more seats. <laughs> and then I can come back, we're gonna come back and put this in and this will be in place for the October show.